Hey, what's up everybody? It's Glenn and today I'm building the 8 foot floating shelf with hidden storage and undermount LEDs. The wood I end up using was wood left over from my office desk built. I had just enough left over for me to cut two 12 inch panels from that stash. I bought a piece of oak that was about three inches longer than the panel itself and I cut off one of the end at a 45 degree angle. I then went to the other side, marked that and then cut that to a 45 degree angle. I cut two trims to cover the edge of the panel, only miter in one side. I sandwiched the two panels together to find out the depth of the spacers I need. Then I ripped a piece of wood on the table saw. I marked and cut the spacers down to size. With the biscuit joiner, I cut the face trim and only one of the side trim. Add the glue, insert the biscuit, and join the two. With my trim router, I notched out a track to insert the LED strip. Over on the router table, I use a horse nose bit to taper off the bottom of the trim to use as a pull handle. To secure the top panel to the trim, I mark location for the pocket holes. Before screwing the panels together, I move my focus over to the drawers, which I started by cutting the track side. I took that piece over to the table router to notch out a slot, and I did that for both sides. I then cut out a small strip of wood on the table saw which I used as the tracks for the drawers. Cut those down to size and then it's on to the front and back of the drawer. I then cut out the tracks for the cabinet bottom in all four pieces. Gave it a quick light sand. Now normally I wouldn't cut a track this close to the edge, but I wanted to maintain the space for the remotes that I'm planning to put in this drawer. So I glued the box together to make sure that nothing comes apart. And now I can clamp and let it sit to dry. Check the squaring to make sure everything is good and on to the next piece. This piece of wood here will hold one side of the track for the drawer. And now I can start assembling the shelf. I can also install the spacers now, but one issue with these spacers is if you notice they're really close to the edge and that doesn't make a lot of room for my mountain piece. So later on in the build I had to cut those down with my router. I use some coins as a spacer but you can also use washers or whatever it takes to create a small space and that's what I needed to mount these tracks correctly. The LEDs I'm using for this project was left over from my office desk build, which actually worked out great because I got a chance to save some money and reuse the leftover piece. I cut out an additional track and you will see why later on in the build. I'm using biscuit joinery for the bottom and even though you're not going to see it, I wanted to accomplish a super clean look. Add a ton of glue, insert the biscuit and now I can anchor it down. To attach the drawer front, I held the trim up against the drawer, used my pin nailer to temporarily hold it, and screws to finalize. Seems to sit really well, but I had to fine tune it later to make it sit even better. I ripped a couple 2x4s on the table saw to make the mounting bracket. I used the trim router to cut out some dado slot for the extended arms. 
The extended arm should have been tightly snugged in the slot, but for the ones that weren't, I used shim to tighten that up. And I also glued and screwed them from the back side. And once the bracket's done, it should look something like this. And to get that out of my way, I took it to the wall and mounted it in place using a lever to get it straight. Now I can give all the pieces a quick sand. And once I'm done with the sanding, I take a rag and I wipe off all the excessive dust. Then I apply the pre-stained conditioner. Let it sit for three to five minutes and you can wipe it off. And once it's dry, I hit it with the sander once again before applying the stain. I had two cans of stain that was very similar in color, but I couldn't figure out which one I wanted. So what I did, I took a test piece, applied the stain, and that helped me make my decision on which one I wanted to go with. I applied the stain using a brush, and then I came back with a rag to remove it. Once the stain dried, I wanted to apply a few layers of polyurethane, but due to the dry time and the multiple layers that I wanted to put on this, I opted to skip that so that I can move along with the video process. I then installed the LED strip. I cut off the wire harness so that I can extend that and use the end for the LED controller. I separated all the conductors so that I can strip each wire. This multi-conductor cable I'm using just happened to have all the colors plus more. So at this point I can strip each wire and connect color for color. I'm using electrical tape to connect each connection and shrinking tube to protect the bundle. Applying heat to the tube will reduce the size and protect the connection inside. I talked about this slot early on in the build and the reason why I cut it is to house the extension of the harness. Repeat the same thing we did on the opposite end and we should end up with this. And with all the tugging and pulling I've been doing, it's time to test this to make sure everything is good. The infrared receiver will sit just below the shelf so that it's visible from underneath the shelf. I just so happen to have an outlet right under this location so you will not see a wire unless you look below. Now to assist me with this thing falling all over the place I used some masking tape to hold it in place. Again guys, thanks for watching and leave a comment down below if you have any questions, suggestions. Let me know what you think about this floating shelf. Let me know if you think it was a winner. And also, give me a thumbs up if you thought this was a really good project for the channel. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe.